Mel Harris, Garby Command Piper, coming to you from the studio, my patio. <coughs> Excuse me, happy 4th of July to everybody. <clears throat> I'm just sitting down here, getting ready to get myself started. Get a cup of coffee. with honey black with honey smoking my savinelli 626 and on the fourth day of the codger challenge and in it carter hall well i would have never dreamed i would have been smoking carter hall for four days But it is an easy blend to smoke. You just light it. I, I, the last two bowls, I haven't even had to do a false light. Just light it. It stays lit. Probably the easiest tobacco to smoke that I've ever smoked. Now, most of the time, I smoke flakes and coins strictly for the most part flakes and coins some twist so it's been good smoke it's getting better at first it was just for me it was like cardboard but i'm used to smoking tobacco with some flavors i mean a little bit stronger flavors So anyways, number four of the Codger Challenge. Yeah, it's been fun seeing everybody who's doing the Codger Challenge, what pipes they pick, what tobacco they're using, their updates, commenting on their updates. Along with this, I think I'm going to do a really brief story for smoking cardboard since that's what i've always said that carter hall is like smoking cardboard he wanted to know a memory mainly a memory that was shared by our folks or our grandparents about history and whatnot and i just don't have a lot of that I mean, I've got brief uh, just comments of my great-grandma coming across from Oklahoma and Arizona in covered wagon, but no details, no cowboys and Indians. I, I, I have personal memories of, uh, you come on out, love. I have personal memories of, you come out. I have personal memories of, uh, hang on a sec, I'll do my shot, of uh, following my cheers, just my morning shots. Um, I have memories. My grand parents had an 88 acre alfalfa farm and um, when it was time to harvest alfalfa my brother who's about five years older than me and at the time I was probably five so he was about 10, and our cousin, this is in the um, Barstow, Hinkley area of California. They would get up on the baler machine as Grandpa was driving it. And once the bales were coming out after being baled, they would go down the chute and land back in the field. Well, they would jump on the bales 
and ride the bales down. And all I can remember is trying to keep up with the tractor in the field because I wanted to do that too. And just being five years old, just frustrated that I couldn't, I couldn't keep up with the tractor and get on the tractor and ride the bales down. But uh, just good memories of being out on their, on their farm. I think the earliest memory I have is sitting in an ant pile and just screaming because I got ants all over me and grandma coming out of the farmhouse with that old green coffee cup. It wasn't even plastic. I don't know what they made them out of. And she had sulfur matches and she was just, she knocked all the ants off me and then she rubbed that match in the water and then just rubbed it on every one of those ant bites, one of those sulfur tip matches. And then playing checkers after they sold, after my grandparents sold their, the farm, um, which was probably in the mid sixties, um, I would play checkers with grandpa and he knew how to play checkers. So we would play checkers and, but for the most part at that point they were retired. Um, yeah, I wished I would have taken more time to hang out or that I was old enough to really ask my uh, grandpa about World War I and World War II. He, he was a man of very few words, but uh, he served in the Navy in World War I, and then he came home and then was called back into the Navy in World War II. He served on the ship called the Ajax. I remember being young, going to San Diego, and the Ajax was one of the ships that they had a mothball fleet. Um, eventually, they either sank them for reefs or dismantled them somehow, but it was cool to be able to see uh, uh, the ship that my grandfather served on in World War One and Two in the San Diego uh, Harbor area. So that was cool. But yeah, you know, Steve, not a lot of memories like that. Um, my, my dad was the youngest of five. So by the time we were growing up, my grandparents were always, already up in age. And I was young, too young to really think about asking them questions or them telling me stories. So anyway, I do remember my grandma's cinnamon rolls where, where they're in the pan and then you flip the pan over and all the almonds and the, all that goodness just runs all over them. Mm, good stuff. And one of the other things we used to like is they were they would always have oval team in their house. And so we would we would go and visit them almost every summer. So that was cool. That was fun. But I wanted to just more than anything get a little video in here for your god, my brother. And uh just show you some support. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, day four of the Codger Challenge. And smoking cardboards, God. Y'all be safe out there. Or I should say, Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, saying sweet chicken baby. Y'all be safe out there.